welcome back to GavelsWeatherids.com. It's Quantum here, the guy that did the dual cast with Gav. I'm filling in because Gav is feeling a little bit poorly today. So I'll be doing the normal week ahead forecast. I'll try and keep the style as similar as I can to Gav's weather vids. So before I go on, I just want to mention the ads. There's various different ads on GavsWeatherVids.com. Please click through those ads. You'll be helping support GavsWeatherVids.com. And thank you very much for doing that. Um, you, every, every, um, the, the revenue brought in helps support um, Gav's excellent weather contributions. So thank you very much. Um, so I hope people enjoyed the eclipse um, yesterday. I managed to get some fairly decent shots of it. This one was taken about 20 minutes before the maximum. So I was fairly lucky there. Uh, but for those that were disappointed, unfortunately that's going to be the story of the week. We are looking at a very disappointing week. Um, so we've got this legacy of cloud and um, dankness and some showers moving in across the southeast. That's probably going to continue for much of the day. Um, probably a bit lighter towards the end of the day. Cold temperatures pegged back, 6 to 8 degrees in the south. Better in the north. The north has more chance of seeing some broken cloud. It will be cloudier towards the far northwest of Scotland as well. Temperatures maybe eight degrees, maybe even double figures in one or two spots. Um, Saturday night will be a fairly cold night with high pressures across the central parts of the UK. Um, will stay cold um, with that cold wind in the southeast. Um, temperatures will not be that low in the northwest of Scotland though because we're getting developing the southwesterly wind which is pulling up some moisture off the Atlantic Ocean so that's going to keep things fairly frost free. That being said it's going to be a fairly unpleasant day on um, Sunday for, sorry that's tomorrow, for northwestern Scotland with this, this area of moisture come, coming on these southwesterly winds. It's not going to be wet but it is going to be drizzly and there are, it's going to be light rain about um, if you're near a hill or a coast in the west, then you're probably going to see some drizzle and rain. But if you're out towards the east of Scotland, you could see some fairly warm temperatures, maybe thinking about 14, maybe even 15 degrees, and that's um, provided that you actually see some sunshine. But east of the Grampians, I'm expecting things to be a hell of a lot better. The Midlands could be okay. Again, cloud just in general filling across the UK, and, a lot, and some clouds still coming in off those um, legacy easterly winds in the south. Um, so generally just a cloudy day for most places. Best of the sunshine in the central areas and east of the Grampians and Pennines. Temperatures in the north probably, um, in the in, exposed to the wind, probably no better than 9 or 10. Um, towards the east, probably 13 maybe. Um, in the south, probably a little bit under that. So as we go through into Monday, I'm not expecting a really much of a frost on Sunday night. Um, cold front comes across early on Monday, that could produce some heavy rain in the northwest, but it very quickly weakens to produce again legacy area of cloud and drizzle and rain. This is going to be the story for the week um, across central areas and moving in towards the southeast. The northwest will be brighter, it will be sunnier, there will be scattered showers, and those showers will turn heavier through the afternoon and will turn wintry over the highlands and grampians with perhaps snow down to 400 metres. Um, so those, this area of showers is going to push across um, western areas um, throughout Monday night. Um, we could see some hail and some thunder in that actually. Um, but they will weaken towards the end of um, Monday night. Um, in the east it could be quite chilly with again patchy frost. Um, so that sets us up for Tuesday with that cold, bitterly cold Arctic wind coming, coming right down from the Arctic. Um, it's, mid, it's late March though so it's not really going to be that cold, but showers across the, these band of showers across the west and the southwest slowly fading away. Showers continuing across the north, um, a few down the, the, the northeast coasts. Some of these could be wintry, down to quite low levels, uh, but at sea level, they should mostly be of rain. Um, there won't be any settling snow um, on lower ground, but across some of the hills, there could be a few snow showers, maybe above 500 meters. Um, to further south, with lighter winds, probably see some, some sunshine, e even though it's going to be cold, temperatures 5 to 7 degrees in general, um, across the north, 6 to 8 in the south, um, but some sunshine perhaps, and maybe even maybe even across the southeast we could see double figures, possibly. Um, so Tuesday is a nice day, but it's cold. Um, Wednesday, got that legacy again, legacy bit um, area of cloud and rain across the southeast, um, with a few showers 
very cold, well not very cold, but still nastily cold in the southeast, five to seven degrees at best. Better in the north and the west, temperatures a little bit higher, maybe eight degrees or nine degrees, and some sunshine actually for the west. Uh, Wednesday night is probably going to be cold, especially the first part of the night. So maybe some, maybe a fairly sharp frost in parts of Scotland, northwest England, Wales. So maybe a fairly sharp frost on Wednesday night there. Um, and this occluded front run, runs through on, on, as we go into Thursday. Um, it's a weak feature. Uh, most of the energy is going into Spain um, and to the north of Scotland. So the, the north is likely to see more rain on Thursday. Um, the north and the west. So there's the, the Scottish hills could actually have a very unpleasant day with perhaps rain all day on, on Thursday. But further south, it's just cloud, it's drizzle. And towards the east, we could actually see some brighter and sunnier, sunnier weather after an albeit quite cold start. So Thursday could be okay for the east, um, but pretty pretty bad, pretty miserable and dank and cloudy for the west with rain in the north. Um, Friday, um, again, legacy fronts, dying front systems. It's basically just a graveyard for all these dying fronts basically this week. Um, cloudy, dank, pretty rubbish. Um, better in the north and the west. Um, temperatures perhaps picking up a little bit, but it will feel cold in the, in the southeast. Towards the end of the week, High pressure in the south, low pressure in the north. That's the classic dipole situation. So it's probably going to mean that the, north, the, the, the further north and west you are, the more likely you are to see rain and cloud. But to what, by the time we get to next weekend, it is likely to be a little bit milder and temperatures could start to pick up. And if you get some sunshine, of course, we could again see temperatures picking up into the low to mid teens. Um, but it could get also very windy in the north and the west. So windy. Um, the Atlantic is really coming back towards the end of the week. So that's something to watch out for. The south is the place to be towards the end of the week. Certainly not towards the start of the week, though. Um, right, ECM. So we've done the GFS. Let's have a look and see if the ECM agrees. Um, it does agree. So this is the zero Z, so it's a little bit out of date. But it, but it, 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 it broadly agrees. So legacy easterly winds on Saturday. Cloud, dank, few showers in the southeast. Central areas, better chance of seeing some um, bright and sunny spells. Um... Sunday, um, a better day in general, but those southwesterly winds across the north will make it cloudy and wet. Again, coasts and hills in the west and north will be pretty miserable, dank, light rain, drizzle. Um, central air is probably okay, S some sunshine, particularly east of higher ground. Uh, eastern Scotland, northeast England, Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, those sorts of places will probably be okay on Sunday. That's tomorrow. Um, so Monday we've got this cold front that starts off as quite a vigorous feature. Pop some the ECM actually has some fairly strong winds in the northwest. Um, so heavy rain to start off with, but it's as it pushes across the UK, it's going to turn into a weak affair. Light rain across central areas on Monday, um, pretty miserable, but nothing overly violent. Um, milder though, with these southwesterly winds, we're going to see temperatures in the low teens. Sorry, low, 10, 10 to 13 degrees, maybe at best. Um, Northwesterly winds follow that area of, of well, that cold front um, as it sits across, um, as it still sits across the southeast by the time we get to Tuesday. Um, behind cold northwesterly winds and those showers, and like I say, these showers are going to become more and more frequent and heavier through Tuesday afternoon, and they will start to become wintry over the hills. Again, temperatures pegged back, peg back, five to seven degrees maybe in the north, um, a little bit lower than that over um, the Northern Isles maybe. Wednesday, that cold air is still remaining across the south and the east. There's a few more showers actually on the east than those on the GFS, so maybe across the north and the east, more showers here. Um, generally gradually moving towards the south and the east. Um, some of those showers could be wintry, generally a cold day. Um, seven degrees in the east, but maybe eight or nine in the west, with some drier spells in the west on Wednesday. Um, Thursday, again, cloudy um, in the east, probably better in the central areas. Thursday looks one of the better days. Um, so sunshine maybe in central areas. Um, Cluded front starting to push through though, so that could produce some cloud and some rain. Nothing particularly heavy, but um, that could spoil things on Thursday. It really doesn't make much progress though. Um, you can see on by the time we get to Thursday evening and Friday, it's sort of just straddled across the western areas, and moving through. Um, Friday looks okay on the G uh, on the on the ECM. Um, again, bits and pieces of cloud everywhere really. 
bits and pieces of cloud across the east, across central areas, perhaps drier across the west, but then this thing is starting to come in. So on, on Thursday morning we're going to see some rain moving into the Sorry, on, on Friday morning we're going to see some rain moving into the west as well. Um, and then the story towards the end of the week is basically the same as it's on the GFS. It's high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, gale force winds in the north possible, or on the like, gale force winds in the north. Um, brighter and sunnier towards the south. The one difference on, um, between this and the GFS is that on, on this one we actually have this frontal system across the central parts of the UK moving south. But even despite this, it's still probably better to be in the south because after that front clears you've got a chance of seeing some brighter and perhaps even some milder weather moving through but if you're in the north it's going to be cold, it's going to be cloudy, it's going to be wet as the Atlantic returns. So, in summary, it's a pretty miserable week not because there's going to be an awful lot of rain about but because it's going to be cloudy, it's going to be grim I expect sunshine totals are going to be fairly low this week um, Start of the week, southeast probably going to be fairly fairly cloudy Northwest going to be cloudy towards um, Sunday Cold front moves through um, early on Monday, um, and by the time it gets to Tuesday, we're in this sort of colder, brighter condition. So Tuesday is a good day if you can cope with the cold. Wednesday, the cold and the cloud is across the southeast, and then by the time we get to the um, end of the week, we have bits and pieces of cloud, bits and rain in, <laughs> in a few different places. Some places we will see some sunshine, and towards the, the far end of the forecast, towards next weekend, the Atlantic returns and it's going to be wet in the north and drier in the south. So I hope you enjoyed this forecast. Um, so that's the week ahead from gavsweatherfids.com um, and Gav will hopefully be returning to you next week. Thank you very much for watching.